and to security matters now for months residents of Ugiri, Peru and other communities lived in fear as no fewer than seven persons lost their lives to the activities of a serial killer. TVC News correspondent Kazim Olowe joined the police team to the killer's den where Samuel Dusumu, popularly known as Spartan, lived before he ended up in the hands of the police. Call him a monster, a beast and a killer and you may not be out of place. Samuel Dusumu, a young man known as Spartan in Ogiri Remo community, where his parents lived for many years, later became a terror and killed seven persons in circumstances that beat the imagination. It caused panic in the land and many of the residents fled the community. The police launched a major search and declared him wanted. Despite that, the killer struck again and killed a nursing mother and her neighbor on different days. Victims' families say they are still mourning. My daughter uh, called me that, Daddy, 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 Sparta have caught mommy. On my on my mind that maybe she call uh, she uh, uh, Spartan call him hand or leg. So after I reach, I come to house and I see my wife has already died. As in, is he like someone am on my heart? Because it's very painful that I lost my dad at this age. Because of the load is much on me. It's very much on me. With the multiple killings. The big question among residents of Ogun State was who was Patton and why was he killing? For some, he was no more than a cultist, while others described him as a drug addict who had been affected by the influence of the drugs, but the police say his style of operation suggested otherwise. You see how he cleared the large portion and uh, tactically leaving behind a, 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 what is it? a mast, a mast, dog some trenches around him to evade or to dodge arrest and had all offensive weapons with him, bottles, cutlasses. He's not a madman. He's not a madman. He's not a madman. A quick check on his Facebook page suggests that he may have belonged to a secret court and may have suffered from some form of psychological disorder. For more than a year, he filled this war with writings concerning death and violence. Aside from that, he expressed his mind on the walls of different uncompleted buildings he used as hideouts before he finally relocated to the forest. The police team, which include the commander of the Special anti robbery Squad in Ogun State, Tijani Mohamed, the divisional police officer at Ogiri, and other senior officers of the command, headed by the commissioner of police, combed the forest for days without success until their efforts paid off through the use of technology. We were able to have a pinpoint uh, location of where he was hiding in the bush, and we engaged him. Uh, he broke bottles again, drew the cutlasses, the cutlasses in the, uh, the vehicle there in case you want to see it, the one he had been using to hurt people to death. Then, of course, we replied. Uh, we maimed him on the leg. Unfortunately, uh, it, turned out to be, uh, it turned out to be a fatal injury. So that's how we uh, were able to arrest him. Items found at his den in the forest include a gas cylinder, plantain, cooking pot, jerry cans, sim packs, among others. He has actually designed this place to suit his mode of operation. He dug holes around where he lives, and this is a security strategy, of course, to affect those who may be coming to apprehend him, and of course, cause dislocation to their body. Aside from that, we have his posters here, the wanted poster, meaning that he was aware that he's been declared wanted. TVC News paid a visit to his family house at Okiri, but nobody was available to comment and residents were not willing to talk on camera. Those who spoke off camera say his father had died and his mother fled due to his evil enterprise. Unfortunately, None of them was able to confirm 
if he was suffering from any form of psychological problems, but they confirmed that he was a cultist and used illegal drugs. Kazimolowe, TVC News, Ogiri.